I'm Jemaya, and today we're back with the grade one question. So the question today is, Sarah has four blocks, and Josh has three blocks. How many blocks do they have in all? Okay, so we're going to get started by counting up everyone's blocks. So, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to write down that Sarah has four blocks. Okay, so now we're going to count Josh's blocks. One, two, three. So I'm going to write down that he has three blocks. Okay, so now that I've done that, Jemaya is going to count all these blocks up by adding them together over there. Thank you. Okay. So, we're going to do three plus four. Okay, so let's start counting. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven blocks. So now we're going to double check our answer to make sure that we have the right answer. So we're going to do Four plus three. And so we're going to recount them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Therefore, we got the right answer. And you, make, you have to make sure that you always want to double check your answer to make sure that you have the right answer so you won't get it wrong. Okay. And that's all. Bye. Hello. Today I'm going to teach you how to read coordinate graphs. For, it's pretty simple once you get to know it, and after a while, it'll be very fast. So the first thing you do is look at the first number. That is going to be your horizontal number. So right now it is negative 3. So negative 3 is right here. So that means, uh, since it's horizontal, it would be on the vertical line of negative three. Now, we go to the second number, which is the vertical number. It would be four, so it's all the way up there. So that would, the vertical number four would be on the horizontal part here. So negative three, four. So we would get all the way up there. And that is how you read a coordinate graph.